Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Explore Charles County. I'm your host, Ashley Chenault, and I'm the Chief of Tourism for the Department of Recreation, Parks, and Tourism. This month, we are joined by Tribal Chairman Francis Gray of the Piscataway Kanoi. We're at Mallows Bay National Marine Sanctuary. So Chairman Francis Gray, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we are here at the beautiful Mallows Bay Park and we know that mostly the focus here is national and local attention for the World War I ships, but there's a bigger and deeper story to the indigenous community. So can you talk to us a little bit about what that is and how your role here at the sanctuary um, exists? This, this is exciting uh, times here and thank you, Ashley, for this conversation. Certainly welcome. Um, when we're talking about the natural world of Charles County, mm -hmm. of Southern Maryland, there's not one place that my ancestors did not put their foot on. Mm -hmm. For thousands of years, this place at Mallows Bay as a national marine sanctuary was a perfect model for us as tribal citizens to bring in our direct, long, enduring, enduring history of who we are. Mm -hmm. This place has the natural world of pickle weed. It has the wild rice. All of these natural world plant items that we're talking about here resides here. And that is one of the beauty because not only can we enjoy the ghosts, ships there, which is what it actually started up with, but we're also protecting our ancestral cultures and food ways that they had. Mm -hmm. And that's so important is protecting the heritage that uh, once was here and there still is. Yes. Right. I know there's also some signage here in the park that's pretty unique. Um, can you talk to us about that interpretive signage and, and what it means to you? This means a lot. This is big. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is that this is possibly the first local government, state government, and national government that will in promote the Algonquin cultural language into a way where one can understand. You see, there's a deer, and usually we'll see deer crossing, mm -hmm. turtle crossing, those type of animals there, the four-legged deer. Here, we were able to put our fingerprints on that signage there to promote our culture. But yet at the same time, we are expanding outward so the general populace that comes here to Mallow Bay mm -hmm. will see something that is extremely unique. And I love it there. It, it, it was very interesting how that started out there. And once we started having these dialogues, this became something there that we had to do and it was met with open arms, and that's the exciting part as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud that we have been able to do that as well, to, to tell that story and to have that interpretive signage to express to, um, you know, the visiting public and the residents here, the different culture experiences that were once here. Yes, and, and we're still here, mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. And so this is how we're revitalizing that language program. I'm leaving that up to the youth, mm -hmm. because they got a lot of energy, yeah. and I love it. Yes. Um, and it gives them something to do that they have uh, skin in the game. Mm -hmm. And this is where they can say and everything that as they get older, they were a part of a cultural experience. Yes. Along with interacting with different government agencies, whatever that may look like. Mm -hmm. And it's so important to keep the youth involved because yes. uh, they are the next generation yes, that's leading the way for us. Yes, they right? are. I won't be here forever. <laughs> <laughs> So we're, um, we're about to celebrate uh, Native American Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have an event that's coming up, a cultural event. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about what that celebration is? Well, you know, we used to have what was called a powwow in the northern part of Waldorf. Mm -hmm. And we had it for years. Um, unfortunately, their uh, family members have uh, crossed over into the spirit world and that energy and that guidance there has kind of like waned. And so we haven't had that festival that used to be there or that powwow that used to be. 
and I started getting a lot of comments from our tribal citizens, but I was also getting it from the general public. Oh, I remember this. Mm -hmm. I remember that when I was a kid, you know, yeah. and all this. And I wish my grandkids could see what I experienced. And I started thinking, well, you know, I think we need to start this back up. But we have these issues here because we cannot predict the weather. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, and we want to make sure that um, it is very also inclusive. Mm -hmm. And um, so we look like going to the Charles County Fairgrounds. Indoor facilities uh, where it promotes our cultural dancing. Mm -hmm. um, it also has um, vendors that has handmade indigenous artwork. This isn't something that you're going to get anywhere else. Anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, we have several Piscataway uh, youth that has taken on the old cultural ways, smoking the leather, using porcupine quills instead of the, the, the colonial beads that we have customarily transferred over to. So it is so exciting mm. to see that but at the same time, we also are able to utilize the other portions of the crafts. And that's also what I'm wearing here mm -hmm. is um, a quag hog shell. This is something that is only up and down the East Coast. We are the furthest place south where you can get this shell. It's a clam shell. Okay. Right. It is very much tedious in its work. All right, and what, um, so it's called the Indigenous People Festival, mm -hmm. and it'll be at the Charles County Fairgrounds. What are the dates? The dates are November the 9th and the 10th. It is a two-day event. When I say Indigenous peoples, I am not just specifically talking about Native American or Indigenous people of North America. I'm speaking about Polynesian, the Polynesian Islands. I am talking about also our brothers and sisters that are south of us, Central and South America. They will be doing performances, dances. They're exhibiting their culture as well. Mm -hmm. It is exciting to have that much of a variety coming in as an indigenous culture as, as, as opposed to what we may see either in a magazine or what we may see on TV or movies or, or whatever the case may be. So Chairman Gray, the event is happening on Veterans Day weekend. Can you talk a little bit about what that means to you? I'm not a veteran. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of tribal citizens that are. This gives us an opportunity to uh, acknowledge those tribal citizens in this event, that they were extremely um, appreciative of sacrificing their lives. Some of them came back, some of them didn't come back. Mm -hmm. I think it's incumbent that we honor them as well. Um, Native American Month, yes. Veterans Day weekend, yes. It's a perfect venue and a time space to have those acknowledged. I am so excited that uh, this opportunity is coming to Charles County uh, to talk about different cultures and to bring people into the county. That's our main role in tourism is to bring more people here and provide things for the residents to do. Ashley, I think it's incumbent upon not just the Piscataway people, but also people from multiple different cultures. The demographics are changing in Charles County. Absolutely. The demographics are changing in just in within the state of Maryland itself as well. Mm -hmm. So we must welcome everybody. I would love to be able to expand off of this, but you know, that's going to be a heavy lift. Yeah. But it's a conversation that's being had now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like a folk like festival, something like that, where we're bringing in all, you know, Asian there, you know, African-Americans there, you know, we as Piscataway people would host that, mm -hmm. but to bring everybody in so they can exhibit a complete culture of actually who we are and what makes us as Charles Countyans and Marylanders as citizens and 
what we represent. Yeah, well, let's continue to have that conversation and manifest that. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> because I would love to collaborate collaborate with you on that and about bringing that to Charles County. Absolutely. And um, so let's talk about food a little bit. Ooh. So what kind of food uh, will be featured there? What can go event goers expect? Well, you, you're going to expect a variety of foods. Mm -hmm. And those varieties will come, you know, you're going to have your normal, you know, barbecue. Okay. You know, everybody likes barbecue, everybody right? Likes I don't barbecue. know who doesn't like barbecue. <laughs> yes. You know, if you don't like barbecue, I think there's something wrong with the palate. There. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, but, um, and then we're having what represents Maryland also, seafood. You know, different mm -hmm. types of mm -hmm. seafood. But then we go into the indigenous culture. So we're having fried bread. Our version is going to be something that's in the six inches to nine inches diameter. Mm. And you get able to have um, powdered sugar, honey okay. on it as well. But then we take it to another level where you have what is known as Indian taco. So you'll still have that same basic foundation as fried bread, but then you would have a chili on top with your cheese and your lettuce and your tomatoes there mm. as well. There, then I, I get I get one of those during the day. I'm I'm kind of like done for the day. Yeah, you're yeah. making me hungry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but but it's it's and it's it is just something everything that is very a unique mm -hmm. taste there. You know, I can remember my elders making fried bread there, and you know it's one of those things that you never forget. And I struggle yeah. to replicate what they did. Um, it must be their hands. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I can't figure. I'm using yeah. the same water. I'm using the same <laughs> ingredients there. But for some reason, everything, my elders really had it down pack. Mm -hmm. And it, it just, you know, that's just that love. Right. That's their special that's ingredient it is. is That's love. right. That's what it is. <laughs> the love and the fingers and everything just makes it wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, where can one find more information about this event and future events? So we can either come to at PiscataywayKanoiTribe.com where they can actually go in there and you'll see the flyer as well, which gives you the dates, gives you the times, uh, gives you different, you know, at the high level there of what we're actually working with. Okay, yes. And so there is a flyer and we'll have it on our website at ExploreCharlesCounty.com as well and all our social handles. Nice. Because uh, that's what we do. We yes. promote all events that occur in Charles Perfect. County. So thank you so much for joining you, me Ashley. today. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure as well. Thank you. And in closing, I would like to wish you a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. It's always a great time to explore Charles County. For more information on our events, please visit our website at ExploreCharlesCounty.com.